Okay, live at the uh, Cloud Expo here with Dustin Kirkland. Dustin, how you doing? Good, thanks. And so, Dustin, you've been at uh, Canonical now for a while, and you've just taken a new job. What are you doing there? I'm the manager of our systems integration team and uh, our corporate services division. We're building solutions on top of the Ubuntu server. And now, you guys just had your biannual Ubuntu Developer Summit, and this, as you told me, was in, in Budapest. What were some of the, the decisions that came out of that or developments? Uh, around the server? Um, yeah, on the server yeah. side. Uh, good. So I think the big one is our focus on OpenStack uh, for, the next, uh, for the next cycle, for this cycle and the following cycle. Um, and that's, that's focusing on OpenStack as our infrastructure as a service platform. Uh, we see we've aligned with their schedules and they with our development processes quite well. And, We've got uh, an opportunity, I think, to, to really put together a solid infrastructure as a service uh, for service providers, for someone who wants to deploy a uh, cloud infrastructure on Ubuntu on thousands of machines and, and make that available as a, a internet-facing uh, service for sale. And what will happen with Eucalyptus, which you had been supporting? Eucalyptus what's, is what's the difference? Yeah, Eucalyptus is still uh, still in Ubuntu, still a supported um, uh, supported cloud. Um, I think we did some pretty pioneering work with the Eucalyptus team over the last uh, couple of years, and uh, really, you know, uh, I think some 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 innovative technology has come out of that. Um, Eucalyptus, I think, fills a, a different niche than OpenStack. So there are, I think, people who are interested in OpenStack from its ability to provide uh, ISP, Internet Service Provider type services uh, on, the, on the Internet front facing. Um, Eucalyptus, I think, fills a different niche, that being the sort of back office cloud, the thing that, that you run inside of your own network for your, for your internal users, uh, something that's, that's uh, enterprise ready uh, for internal consumption. And now there's a couple of music-themed things that came out, orchestra and ensemble. What are what are those? Yeah, so uh, I'll start with ensemble. Ensemble is a project uh, within Canonical, uh, led by uh, uh, Gustavo Niemeyer, and, and uh, it's a brainchild of, of Mark Shuttleworth. Um, it's a it, it's a service orchestration framework, and I think service orchestration is a an evolution of this uh, sort of configuration management idea and actually configuration management being an evolution of packaging itself um, and packaging having been built upon uh, the old uh, the old uh, make file uh, configure and auto make auto comp way of doing things. I borrowed this analogy from my, my colleague Clint Byram um, but you know as we step further and further uh, up the ladder of how do you get something installed in your system um, you're no longer doing the configure, make, make, install uh, from a tarball. You're, you're, uh, you're not even necessarily doing a, a, a dpackage or an RPM or an apt-get install. Um, you're really expecting your, your, your system to come up in the cloud and, uh, and federate your services together and deploy your entire application where it's not just a, a stack of packages on a single system, but it's a, it's a, it's a cluster or a cloud multiple systems that work together in harmony and then scale up. Um, you know, when, when you get uh, the, the proverbial slash dotted, um, you need to be able to, to handle that scale. Uh, so Ensemble is a service orchestration framework um, that, uh, that we've, we've pioneered. It'll be in the 11.10 uh, Ubuntu release, the Oneric Ocelot. I know you like our <laughs> nice our uh, code names, but uh, Ensemble is very important to that, and I think people uh, if you take a look at, at Ensemble, you'll be quite impressed with, uh, with the configurability and, and the, the incredible things you can do with it from a uh, cloud, cloud service management, service orchestration perspective. And orchestra? Yeah, Ubuntu Orchestra. So uh, we've recognized over the last couple of releases, and this really came out of, of our work working on the cloud, the, the, a handful of developers that were, were doing the testing and development of Eucalyptus and then OpenStack over the last couple of years, uh, each of us had our own physical hardware that we, we deploy and do our, our testing of the cloud on. Um, doing, uh, installing a cloud necessarily involves installing more than one machine. And if it's a real cloud, it's not just two or three machines, it's hundreds or perhaps thousands of machines. And the traditional way of, of installing a single system, you know, being a USB stick or a CD, it just doesn't scale well when, when your job is to install a, a hundred machines by day's end. Um, and so, you know, we've long had in Linux um, a network-based installation, uh, installing over NFS or th through a Pixie boot uh, using TFTP and DHCP. Um, and pretty much everyone I've talked to uh, who's, who's 
run a lab or, or have been a sysadmin uh, has baked their own solution, cobbled together their, their different pieces to make that work. Um, so we, we started working on this in the last cycle, 1104 cycle, and just now in 1110 we've got packages in the Ubuntu archive called Ubuntu Orchestra. And Orchestra is a set of, uh, it's not a whole lot of new code that we've written, we're putting them together and pre-configuring them so that they actually work together well. Uh, but we've taken the best of open source, so we're using Cobbler, uh, which is a, a Red Hat project, for doing the, the base installation. Um, it handles the Pixie and the, the, the DHCP and the, um, the TFTP, uh, the bits to get the initial install. We call that our provisioning server. It's helped by a stack of other packages that provide bits and pieces like uh, local mirror management and caching and proxying of, of packages themselves. Um, after the provisioning is done, though, we, we do take it a step beyond that, and that's why we call it Orchestra. It's, it's more than just a provisioning system. Uh, we also do the configuration management. We've got uh, an Ubuntu Orchestra management server, uh, which configuration management for us means means Puppet. So we're using Puppet, which I think is fairly well established in, in, in many, uh, many labs uh, out there. Um, so Puppet handles what happens after the system's installed. You know, how do I manage the configuration of it? Uh, and then the next piece will be tying Ensemble into Orchestra and handling the service orchestration of that, of that same system for physical hardware. Ensemble today works very well with, with clouds. Ensemble is targeted right now at EC2 and Rackspace and uh, Ubuntu Enterprise Cloud type systems. But um, it will soon work with hardware the same way. Excellent. Dustin Kirsten, thank you so much.